Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at Legendary Crafting after the Season 18 Milestone Zero Country Road update we got on September 3rd, 2024. So this is right from Bethesda.net, Legendary Crafting. We are excited to introduce this new iteration of Legendary Crafting that brings you more direct control over the Legendary mods that appear on your Legendary items. Before you can start swapping legendary mods onto your gear, you will need to obtain the mod you want to craft in one of two ways. Trading for the mod with another player, scrapping legendary items with your desired mod on it. Every time you scrap a legendary item, you will get a legendary script and have a chance to receive legendary mods in the form of a crafting item. There's also a chance that you will permanently learn how to craft one of those mods on the item you scrap too. Those loose legendary mods can be traded with other players, but once when you craft that mod onto an item that it becomes character bound, meaning it cannot be traded, sold, or dropped in the world. Once you obtain your desired mod, you can head over to your armor or weapons workbench to attach it to the legendary item in exchange for legendary script. Each time you replace a mod on an item, the cost to replace another uh, will increase. If you are lucky enough to learn how to craft the mod, head over to your Tinker's Workbench to craft it. The crafting costs will vary depending on the mod. Mods require legendary modules and various other items to craft that you can find around the wasteland. To aid in exploration of the new mod combinations, we have relaxed the legendary mod restrictions on weapons. We are excited to see what you can craft. And of course, legendary cores are discontinued. We had talked about that last uh, couple of weeks or so. You will probably hear about it a lot <laughs> over the YouTube and over Google. In August, we announced that legendary cores will be discontinued as we consolidate the Currencies using the legendary crafting. This means legendary cores will no longer be usable across Appalachia. When you log in after downloading the patch, which was yesterday, September 3rd, 2024, any remaining legendary cores will be converted into legendary script at a one-to-one -one conversion ratio. All right, so that's right from Bethesda.net. Uh, so for the last couple of weeks, I have been collecting, you know, the odd weapon, the odd piece of armor and kind of hanging on to it without being overweight. And uh, we're going to learn this together. I have not tried this yet, so I'm just kind of going on this cold. So have a little patience with me. All right, so let's take a look here. Uh, let's try the weapons here first. Uh, let's go ahead and go scrap items. Let's go to our weapons section here first. All right, so that's obviously <laughs> my uh, big boy gun. So we're going to definitely hang on to him. Uh, but all these other ones down here, uh, we're going to scrap. Like this is Aristocrat's short laser pistol. Furious pipe pistol. Furious short pup, in, pup action shotgun. The Furious dragon. <laughs> Instigating pickaxe. Quad combat shotgun. Stalker's pepper shaker. Actually, that's a, pre that's a pretty good roll, actually. I uh, rolled that one um, just yesterday, right after making all my videos. And I was like, wow. <laughs> That's quite something. Where were you? You know, a couple years ago. Uh, Stalker short handmade. And uh, this particular fixer right here. So in my mind, when I was picking this stuff up, or I was re-rolling it, uh, I was just kind of looking at certain, you know, effects that I would like to have a mod for that I can put on certain weapons or have a chance to, you know, know that plan you know, for, you know, the rest of my character's life kind of deal. So let's go ahead. We're going to start this off. We're going to scrap this aristocrat short laser pistol. And uh, let's go ahead and see what, uh, see what happens here. This item's legendary. Are you sure you want to scrap the legendary item? Well, that's good that it pops up with that. So that way there you don't accidentally scrap something that you, that you don't want to scrap with your favorite weapon. Like my, you know, big bad boy gun up there. The anti-armor enclave plasma rifle. Let's go ahead and scrap it. All right, so we got some script from it. There are four of it. Nothing else popped up. So let's uh, let's back out there for a second and check our pit boy. So nothing really, 
Nothing really popped up there. Let's check the uh, mods section. Nothing. Okay. Let's, uh, let's keep her going here, right? Furious Pipe Pistol. Okay, got four more scrip out of it. Doesn't seem like we got anything out of it. Let's try this Furious Short Pop Action Shotgun. <laughs> the Furious Dragon. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, Jimmy. Instigating pickaxe. Quad combat shotgun. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Big money. Big money. <laughs> Get one. One script out of that bad boy. Uh, Stalker's pepper shaker. Hate to do this. Probably got, I'm going to get uh, people beating on me for it. But uh, you know what? Let's, let's just hold on <laughs> for a little bit. Yeah. Save myself some anxiety later on. Um, let's, let's grab this cat. And let's scrap this fixer and see what we get. I don't know, it doesn't not showing anything up, but uh usually it would show up in the top left hand corner, I would think, if you learn a mod or a plan. In my mind anyway. We're just showing up a script. Okay, so we scrapped all that all those weapons. Let's go back here. We got no mods. Let's go down here to our new section, see if we learn any plans here. No, nothing. Sweet nothing. Okay. Let's, um... <laughs> Let's scrap some armor now. Let's scrap this stuff. So again, same deal. Just went around and picked this stuff up. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and scrap. Oh, there we go. Crafting item unlock weighted. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> One out of all of that. Ghost Slayer's Marine Armor Right Arm. Lead lined. Okay. And we seem to get getting all kinds of armor. That's 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 better than nothing, I guess. Troubleshooters. Geez, we're three for three there. What's going on? That's a one-star troubleshooters. You see that? See that pop up? Troubleshooters, urban armor. I got two of these for some reason, but there is a slight difference uh, between them. Ammo reduce. Okay, let's try this one here. Okay, nothing from that one. See, I jinxed myself. That's what happened. That's what happened. There. That's what we do when we talk out loud. <laughs> Jinx ourselves. Weightless. Yeah, I like that. All right. So that's that. Let's take a look now. So all kinds of uh, junk items here. So that's good. Let's keep going down here. So nothing's popping up. In the in the uh, new section, let's keep going down to our mod section. And see what sees there. So there's nothing that popped up there at all. So that's that's interesting. Let's go under notes for a second. See if it popped up in plans, just for the sake of looking. Sweet, nothing there either. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Um. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and craft something here. Nope, that's the weapons gym. So none of that stuff popped up when we scrapped our weapons, unfortunately. I was hoping at least, you know, like Furious or even like the uh, the quad effect. I would have loved that. That would have made my day. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, craft a piece of armor here. Anything, uh, anything will do. Actually, let's, uh, Secret Service, let's, uh, let's craft one of these bad boys here. Alright, there we go. 
Alright, now let's back out. Let's go ahead and modify and see uh see if there's any changes here. To conserve okay, so there's a piece that we just added. Let's add a legendary let's go legendary, three star legendary, see what happens here. That's fine. All right. So I don't really see any available mods that have changed. So it's it did mention something about the Tinker's workbench. And uh, there might be something different there. So let's uh, go to the Tinker's workbench here. We're going to move this guy over here just to keep it from Yappy McYapperson over there talking. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go modify slash repair here to see what it shows up as. All right, that's just the that bad boy. Let's go ahead and craft. All right. See if there's anything. It's a legendary mod. Okay, so we got a legendary mod troubleshooter. So that was one of the ones that popped up for us. Okay. Troubleshooters, weapons, plus 50% damage to robots, armor, plus 15% damage from robots. So that's pretty cool. So we actually got this one star troubleshooters from a piece of from scrapping a piece of armor and it gives us the option for either weapons or arm so that's pretty awesome 10 circuitry 15 legendary modules okay that's uh so that's the mod that we oh okay we can all right so we can craft as many of these as we want all right so let's uh, go ahead and we'll just craft one for now. All right, so that's something that we will always know. So we can craft as as long you know you're uh, you're only limited by how, how many resources that you have. All right, that's uh, that's okay. Let's head back here to our uh, armor workbench here and let's go modify slash repair and see if we can put that on that secret service chest piece here now. I wonder if we have to craft another one. Let's try that. Let's try that. <clears throat> craft. Um, we'll just craft something simple. Sometimes it costs a lot of resource, like that piece of light armor here. Let's craft this. All right. Let's back out. Let's uh, modify slash repair. There is right there, combat armor chest piece. So these are all just random. But we want to put that troubleshooters on. So that's... Um That's a little bit different now. Let's uh, try and look at our mod section here now under the pit boy. All right, so there's our troubleshooters there. One star.
won't let us put troubleshooters uh, on this one for some reason. Let's try a uh, let's try crafting a fixer just for just you know just for giggles here. Wonder if it's gonna be max. Let's just let's craft this max one that I can uh, build here. Let's go ahead and modify slash repair. Yeah, it just says random. That's um, kind of a shame. Let's go ahead and go back to our pit boy and see if we can not equip this item. Okay. Huh. Wonder how that would work then. Just gonna quickly go through the notes here again, real quick. Just kind of scanning it under the side here. And I don't think we have to do that at the Tinker's Workbench. Let's uh, modify slash repair here. No. Okay, that's um, that is interesting. I might have to play around with this a little bit more because it just says random and to me if I know that that mod I should be able to should be able to put that on I think I would think anyway switch to craft no okay well let's put um some legendary mods on. We'll just put a uh, random one star. Add legendary modules. Two shot. Okay. Oh, I see. So then... If we go down here to the troubleshooters, it's going to cost us 10 legendary script. And that mod, instead of making it um, damage to robots, and I have a two shot mod here as well. Oh, that is the two shot that it came with. Pardon me. Okay. So that's interesting. So let's go ahead. Let's switch from the two shot to the uh, troubleshooters. As you can see the difference. That's the only difference when you look at the very top of the screen, right? When I'm flipping back and forth. Let's switch to troubleshooters and uh, see what happens here. Make troubleshooters one star. This will replace the current legendary mod and increase the crafting cost. This will prevent the item from being traded. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now it's a troubleshooters instead of a two shot, but I lost that two shot. Okay. Let's head back. Let's make another troubleshooters. At this, uh, let's go ahead and go craft at our Tinker's Workbench. Legendary mod. We'll make one more. Because we can. There we go. Let's back out. We'll go to our back to our armor workbench here and we'll go modify slash repair. We'll go to that combat armor chest piece. So let's go ahead, we're going to add a legendary 
mod, but we're just going to add a one star because we weren't able to do it with three star one down here. Or maybe we can. Let's try. Okay, let's try this uh, secret service chess piece, this three star that we crafted. Let's go to the one star section. All right, so there we go. We can. So we can change that from weightless, which is what's on there now, to the troubleshooter. It's going to cost us 10 legendary script. And of course, that module, troubleshooters, which, we, which our player always knows now, is to replace the current legendary mod and increase the crafting cost. This will prevent the item from being traded. So now it's troubleshooter. See that? So it goes by the stars. And that's how that works. Okay. Interesting. So in that case, we should be able to uh, make up another one. And as long, you know, the one the one star that pops up for this, you know, particular piece of armor or whatever. You know, we could put that troubleshooters on every, every single one if we so wish. Okay. Interesting. So we saw how that works there. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Now those other things that popped up. Nothing else uh, pops up under. It's just it was just the troubleshooters, and that's what you have to do. You have to go to your Tinker's workbench. All right, so there's the two star section. There's the three star section, and all you do is just slide it over. Basically, there's the three star section there. So fifteen legendary script, and then whatever, whatever mod, and then the two star fifteen legendary script. All right, so there's. That's the one that comes with this gotten. That's interesting. Okay. So that's the main thing you gotta remember. If you do learn that mod, you have to go to your Tinker's Workbench, and then you have to go craft. Then you have to craft that mod under Legendary Mod, so that's a new section there now. And this is where you're crafting. And uh, the only thing I don't know is whether 2-star or 3-star will have more requirements like more circuitry and more legendary modules i can't see it because the other ones didn't but only time will tell but it's good that we can either put it on the weapons or the armor once we even learn that so i was that's one thing i was always wondering when they were first talking about this whether you know if it's only exclusive to armor or only exclusive to uh, weapons when you the the piece that you uh scrap but that's pretty awesome. I like that. I like that. So that's just a little taste of um, legendary crafting. Of course, uh, I was hoping <laughs> to get uh, a lot more, but unfortunately, uh, we got one. At least we got one. Troubleshooters. You know, it's not that's not too too bad, right? Going after robots, having a weapon that you can use against robots and stuff. So there you guys go. Hope this video helped you. Um, if you have or come across anything on your own gameplay, by all means, put it in the comments. We're only we're here to help the community, right? Learn this stuff. And again, just be patient because the stuff is so new that you know we might find something you know weeks or a month from now. And of course, you know Bethesda always has a right to change stuff as <laughs> time goes on, so it's always good to keep that in mind as well. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffin, Heather, White Tribe, Robco, Mr. Shelton, Drake Stamps, Mr. Prince, Not Me But Me, Yes Me, That's Me, G33K. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.